Hello and welcome to another one of our reviews. This time I'll be reviewing these binoculars from Door from the Signal XP series in the configuration 8x42. First I'll go through some major features that are worth pointing out and at the end I'll tell you what I like about them and also what could be improved. But first, I would like to thank you and say how much we appreciate every single view, like, and comment. And if you want to know more about these binoculars, make sure to stick around. First, let's say a few words about the company. Dor was founded in 1978 in Germany by Hermann Dor. The company has been producing sports optics equipment such as binoculars, spotting scopes, telescopes and related accessories since the very beginning. And today we're going to focus on their binoculars which are from the XP series. The XP series comes in both 8x42 and 10x42 configurations. This model, as you can see right here, is 8 by 42. Every manufacturer has at least one model in each of those configurations in their offer, so the competition is such that consequently the quality to money ratio is better than in any other configuration. When it comes to their weight and size, Door says they weigh approximately 665 grams. We put them on a scale and they weigh around 700 grams, which is still lightweight for such configuration. They are 17 centimeters long and 13 centimeters wide when fully open. As you can see, it's also simple to use them with one hand. They only come in orange, so if you're not a fan of the color, you're out of luck. This is a classic color for hunters, which helps them to increase their visibility and are not mistaken for game. The texture of the rubber is nice, but there are no thumb rests uh, to help you hold them comfortably. The open bridge design also helps you to hold them in one hand, and thanks to the nitrogen gas filling, the binoculars stay fog-free and waterproof up to one meter for a short period of time. Moving on to optical properties, these binos feature roof prisms, which most users prefer, and their close focus when tested was 2.5 meters, which is also the number Door gives in their specifications list. They feature BAK4 glass, um, which means that more light should be transmitted to the entire field of view. When looking through them, the image is okay. Of course, it's not as sharp as on the more expensive premium binoculars of the same configuration, but for their price, it could still be improved. There is visible chromatic aberration and no edge-to-edge -edge sharpness. The field of view is 123 meters at 1000 meters, which is also okay, and the lenses are fully multi-coated. Now to the overall fields of use, 8x42 binoculars are called all-rounders for a reason. They are great for beginners, but also more experienced users, and can be used in pretty much any situation except maybe don't bring them along to the opera because that would look funny. But if you're a hunter, bird watcher, hiker, even astronomer, you can't go wrong with this configuration. If you're a beginner and deciding between the 8x42 and 10x42 models, go with these because the image is brighter than on the 10x42 ones and because of their bigger exit pupil, they're also more comfortable to use and the eye relief is also longer. The focusing system is central, which is a lot more ergonomic than focusing separated for each eye, and they're also more reliable on close ranges. So the knob, as you can see, is here in the center, so you can adjust both barrels at the same time. 
The focusing knob is on the bigger side and I liked the rib texture but it has a fast focus so it turns only once which means you can focus on targets rather quickly but hunters usually prefer slow focus. The diopter setting position is right here on the right eyepiece. It also has a rib texture which is nice but it doesn't have any numbers on it and the way it turns it's almost as smooth as the focusing ring which is not the best it should take more effort to turn it so you don't lose your position once you set it the binoculars can also be mounted on a tripod for longer observations you simply unscrew the cap right here and mount the binoculars on a tripod. The eye cups are twist up eye cups. They have four positions all together. So one, two, three, and four, uh, which is great. You can also feel and hear the clicks, but the positions don't hold that well. You should be a bit gentle when pressing them to your eyes so you don't lose their position. The eye relief is 17.2 millimeters, and I've also been told that those who wear glasses don't have problems when observing. So what's included in the box? The product itself, of course. We have objective lens covers attached at the barrels and can, they can be removed, maybe a bit too easily so be careful you don't lose them then we have uh, rubber eyepiece covers right here we have a strap for easier carrying and also a strap for the bag which is soft a basic bag we also have a cleaning cloth and an instruction manual which has instructions in German, English, French, Spanish, and Italian. These binoculars cost 239 euros with a warranty of five years. Now, the last thing would be the things I like and the things that could be improved. I like the overall design of the binoculars, the color, the texture, the, f the feel of them. I like the fact that they're tripod adaptable. Um, and I also like the focusing knob. It has a fast focus, so this could be a good thing or a bad thing. Depends on what you're planning on using them for. I do like the color, but this is all up to your personal preferences. So door could give us a few more color options uh, i also don't like the diopter setting ring because it turns too smoothly there is no edge to edge sharpness and visible there is visible chromatic aberration the overall optical properties could be improved the binoculars are not bad but the price could be lowered because you can get better a better pair for this price 200 euros they are not the worst but they're not the best either this is it thank you so much for watching the video if you liked it like comment maybe even subscribe and if you're interested in other models in this configuration do check out our buying guides thank you and see you next time